Heather Rendulic stroke left her barely able to move her left hand and arm. I always tell people that I live one-handed in a two-handed world and you don't realize how many things you need two hands for until you only have one good one. I honestly had no hope of, you know, any improvement. Only in the United States, there is 800,000 people every year that get a stroke. And about half of them, 400,000 every year, end up with having permanent motor paralysis. So it's actually an enormous medical uh, problem. Heather was our first participant, so it was very emotional to do the study with her. In 2021, researchers implanted a device that electrically stimulated her spinal cord, helping brain signals reach the nerve cells that move her arm and hand. The first day in the lab, I had no idea what to expect. I was so nervous. They had me open and close my hands, and I was doing it in a way that I hadn't done since my stroke. And we all were in tears crying. And it was just a really powerful moment and just, you know, one of the highlights of my life. As soon as the simulation turned on, they are immediately uh, able to, to do things they couldn't do before. I could feel it in my arm, like a vibration, so to speak. It never hurts. Um, but the, you definitely do feel a vibration and you can tell when it's on and when it's not on. You can see the difference too. Here's Heather sorting blocks with the stimulation off. When the stimulation is turned on, she's able to work twice as quickly. Capogrosso said researchers decided most of the tasks, but Heather also weighed in. My husband and I love to eat steak, and one of my pet peeves is I have to ask him to cut up my steak for me into pieces. So at the last day of the study, we have them deliver a steak for her to cut the steak with their hand. Ah, you're cutting it. Oh. I'm cutting it. <laughs> I did not think it would be possible, but it was. I remember leaving the lab the last time in tears and just so sad, not wanting, you know, to have it removed. For this first of its kind experiment, researchers had to remove the device after four weeks. It'll take years of study to prove the treatment works. We first give them abilities and then we remove them, which pressures me to go faster, actually, to be able to have the full implantable system and go back to them, hey, we can make your life better now. Everything we did just blew me out, out of the water. This technology was helping me improve in ways that I didn't think were possible post-stroke. And I let it go.